बेटा आप इस कार को अच्छे से देख लो क्योंकि जब तक आप बड़े हो जाओगे ये सब कार नहीं रहेंगे हम सिर्फ इलेक्ट्रिक गाड़ियां चलाएंगे That's probably true. Our next generation kids might not be able to experience the thrill of driving like the way we guys did. That's because the automotive space in India is transitioning from IC engines to electric vehicles. But what's important is India's leading luxury car maker Mercedes-Benz has started to assemble the flagship EV in India in the form of this, the EQS 580. How good is it? Hello and welcome back to Shutter Drives. This is Zahur Hasan. If you thought that EVs cannot look smarter, you could be wrong. Just look at this, the EQS 5T. It actually looks quite good, especially from the front end. Another notable thing here is these headlamps, which are actually digital headlights, which offer illumination from 1.3 million crystals, which is actually very unique. However, we are yet to test out the intensity of them. There's of course a fancy DRL to complement the overall looks of the car. You have the lidar sensor here in the logo of this EQS 5T, and there are these cameras on top of this both together help in various functions like the lane keep assist, the distance monitoring in adaptive cruise control, and things like that. If there's something which is very unique in the EQS 5T, that is the front bonnet cannot be opened. Mercedes-Benz says this is to ensure the minimum drag coefficient of the car, which is 0.2, which also happens to be the least for any production car in the world, which is. Absolutely phenomenal. Since the bonnet of the EQS 5T is completely closed and sealed, the only option how you can add the wiper washer fluid is through this mechanism here. Press this. This opens up. Add the fluid and just close this. The Mercedes-Benz EQS 5T gets a rear axle steering as well along with the front steering wheel. You can actually lock and unlock the car through this. Just a small right swipe here enables you to open the door handles and enter the car like this in style. Of course, talking about the most crucial thing in this is the battery pack, which is a 107 kilowatt hour battery, which is placed here in between. Mercedes Benz also says that in case of a crash, this battery is not going to be affected as a safety measure. What's also important is you get 385 kilowatts of power from the two motors pairing this, and you get a whooping. 855 newton meters of torque from this. So these are the 20 inches of alloy wheels on the EQS 5T. While the international variants get up to 21 inches as well, the alloy wheel design is, however, striking and nice. Another thing to note is the parking sensors are extended all the way till the sides of the front bumper, making it more and more accurate. So this is the rear of the EQS 5T. It looks drop dead gorgeous in my humble opinion. There's a small boot lip which enhances the appeal of the car. There is this LED tail lamp look which looks very very gorgeous. In fact, there are six parking sensors to be precise which is the highest i've seen in any production car till date but there's something very very interesting here is this particular logo doubles up as a boot release and also it doubles up as a reverse camera which is neatly tucked inside as you saw here this logo opened and both the reverse lights were activated instantly you do get a carnivorous boot in the eqs 5t it's one of the biggest that i've ever seen and trust me you can accommodate a lot of stuff you can accommodate easily six to seven big bags it's that big let's check that out quickly The loading bay is quite normal. You can easily stuff in whatever bags you want. However, in case you decide to close the boot, just press this button here. So one of the super cool things in the EQS 5T is this: the frameless door. It makes you feel like you are actually driving a convertible without actually having to drive a convertible. When you're talking about Mercedes-Benz, you also mean opulent luxury, and the EQS is absolutely no different. First things first, you do get a massive panoramic sunroof in this car. The one thing that instantly catches your attention is the massive 55 inches of touchscreen here. This is the steering wheel, which is in beige color. Looks very very premium with the glossy black touches here in green for plethora of controls for the infotainment system as well as the instrument cluster with paddle shifters. But why the paddle shifters in an EV? That's because of the regeneration level. When you press minus here, the regeneration level of the battery increases in terms of the sensitivity. On the other hand, when you press the plus button here, the regeneration sensitivity decreases. And then you have the proper authentic drive selector. There is a wooden touch here for the front center armrest, which is actually massive in size. There's a start-stop button right there in the center with a warning lamp here. In fact, this particular armrest is actually openable, and you can access two. Type C charging ports here. The seats are extremely comfortable. They are very, very comfortable, especially the headrests, which are soft touch in nature, makes you feel like you are actually sleeping on a sofa. 
of course the seats are both ventilated and heated both the front driver and the co-driver get memory seat options with a capacitive touch buttons which means that when you actually touch this it does not look like the seat is actually moving you cannot feel it from the buttons here but the seat is actually moving its position which is actually quite interesting and the first that i have ever seen the usp of the massive infotainment system here the 55 inch screen here is there's a dedicated screen in the passenger side as well basically it's only when a passenger sits here that screen gets activated for example if i'm driving the car and i look there the screen automatically dims off so that i don't get distracted from the road which is very very crucial in fact the car is so damn intelligent that if i look at that particular orvm and then change the settings here it understands that i'm looking there and it changes the orvm settings in that particular side if i look here and press the same button here it then changes the orvm in this direction which is very very cool and interesting the car interestingly gets something called as beginner mode where when you activate that the top speed is limited to say 80 km per hour and it cuts off some functions like for example it makes the ESP mandatory you cannot turn off the ESP when you give it to a beginner mode basically that is when someone is actually learning to drive a car if I leave home at 8 am every day and if I want the temperature to be around 22 degrees the car automatically realizes that and it sets the temperature accordingly if I leave at 12 pm it sets the temperature more cooler so that the cabin temperature is maintained very optimally and this is very very interesting and unique and this is not something we have seen ever before so let's take a quick sneak peek into what is there in this massive 17 inches of core central infotainment system here so you have the mercedes me connect you have the weather report and the beginner driver mode that we spoke of in fact there is an option to play games like sudoku when the car is of course stationary moving to the settings of the car basically you have something called as the active steering assist and distance assist and there is something called as sound experience where an actually a fake noise which is resembling an IC engine comes up here in fact there is something called as GPS based raising what happens is if you geotag certain locations for example the coordinates of a certain location where there is a large speed breaker and the next time you are taking a car there it realizes that you have already set a geotag and the height of the car increases automatically which is extremely advanced the EQS 5D is equipped with a 15 speaker Burmester sound system which sounds magical let's check that out so this is the rear of the EQS 5D it actually feels very very spacious and comfortable at the same time more importantly because the legroom is quite practically infinite giving you a lot of space in the front to stretch your legs and the headroom is also good however tall people might find the headroom to be slightly conservative because of the slightly sloping nature of the roof here at the rear but that said the cushioning of the headrest is actually incredible and makes you feel that this is a palace on wheels so both the rear seats get ventilation and heating at the same time making you feel very very comforting in those long journeys but what's very very prominent is this center armrest actually doubles up with a host of infotainment system features here for example you can actually press this and the tab comes up you can use this tab to control the features of that infotainment screen there also have a dedicated sunroof for the rear passenger here so this is the EQS 5T and trust me the acceleration of this car is actually quite mind boggling the 0 to 100 km per hour figures is just 4.3 seconds which means that this is absolutely rocketous to drive 100 km per hour in 0 to 4.3 seconds on the heads up display which I can see which I can feel clearly you have to be very careful and cautious when you are actually driving this car on our Indian driving conditions because this is something that is quite unexpected and this car is actually quite silent so most of the people won't even know that this car is actually coming when you're driving this car it drives absolutely beautifully to glory so the power output is 385 kilowatts instantaneous torque of 855 newton meters which is very very ferocious the best part is the torque is actually instantaneous so you don't have to wait for a certain rpm just like the ic engine cars front two brakes are ventilated discs so the biggest advantage of ventilated disc brakes is they actually help you in faster braking for cars which tend to go faster uh, because of the extra friction that is produced by the drilled holes in the brake disc and not just that they also help in brake heat dissipation and in case there's a water being stagnant on the brake disc it's easy to, for the water to drain out completely if there are holes or pores in the disc which is actually quite helpful in india you would be fortunate to find anything more than 50 kilowatt dc charger which would take around one and a half hours for the 80 percent charge recharging at home via 11 kilowatt wall box fast charger will take good 10 hours 
so you need to plan your charging carefully. The EGUS does scrape its ground with just 134mm of ground clearance. The battery pack is placed below and you would have to be very careful when driving over some of the countryside roads so that it does not brush against the ground when traversing through 857km of claimed range which makes this an EV with maximum range in India. There's barely any body roll from the 3 pointed star. The key to EQS easy handling is a low center of gravity which is also assisted by the fact that you have a very heavy battery pack which is placed on the lower ground. The ray wheels turn by as much as 4.5 degrees which makes the EQS feels very quick and this makes it a very comfortable turning radius in our crowded roads. Ride quality is again amazing and simply cannot feel the road under you. The motors are engaged via a fixed ratio transmission and a single gear gearbox. But you can engage a variety of drive modes. First of all, this car is here to prove that you can still be pampered in extreme luxury while you are actually giving a serious attempt at being cleaner and greener to the environment. That's because India still gets 70% of our electricity by burning coal, which indirectly means that you're not very, very friendly to the environment when you're driving an EV, but there's still a serious attempt at it. But talking about this car in general, this car has literally everything to offer that you can even dream of in your wildest dreams. That's about it. If you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. Take care and drive safe.